Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. The other day I uh, talked about the Amazon Fire tablet uh, that I got uh, from Amazon. Uh, not the absolute epitome of technological advancement, but decent, pure consumer electronics. I uh, couldn't really complain about it too much. You can watch that video uh, and, and hear me ramble on about it a little bit. This is um, the second thing that I've gotten so far. And this one really impressed me with how quickly it showed up. It's also ordered from Amazon. It was something that was on sale that I wasn't really expecting to be on sale. So it was almost an impulse buy. Uh, it's a hunk of electronics I've been looking at for a while, but don't have a really solid use for. Uh, and it was kind of expensive, but on sale for about 50% uh, off or so, it was well within my price range for uh, impulse buy and, hey, it'll be nice to have around just in case. Uh, and it showed up one day after I ordered it. I ordered it on Monday. It showed up on Tuesday, which uh, without paying extra for shipping was really impressive. So uh, props to Amazon for keeping the shipping uh, really sensible and solid, especially for those of us who are Prime members cannot argue Amazon's shipping most of the time. I've had very few bad experiences over the entire uh, decade or so that I've used them. Uh, so good going there. Uh, but what I bought, because that's probably what you're curious about, is uh, a, a microphone. Now I, I use microphones uh, for these videos. Uh, that I picked up cheap. Uh, that's why there's a hiss uh, that you can hear because I haven't corrected for any of the uh, any of the stuff uh, that comes through. Uh, I haven't had time to figure out how to do that. Uh, I have friends who are audio engineers who are probably really, really annoyed if they watch these videos by that hiss and a few of the other things uh, that go on audio wise. Uh, but this, uh, this uh, Yeti uh, from Blue is uh, a, uh, it's, it's billed as a pro microphone, but because I know real audio engineers, I'm going to say semi-pro microphone, definitely in the prosumer range, uh, better than a lot of cheap microphones out there, but still not as good as ones that you'll drop $400, $500, $1,200 on. This is nowhere near that expensive, even at full price. And since I got it at half price, I'm not really going to complain one way or another because it's better than any other microphone I have uh, in the apartment right now. Now, the thing is, it's a USB microphone, which means it's not going to plug into my camera, uh, which means if I want to use it for these, I have to get a little more advanced and a little more creative with how I handle the sound. Uh, one of the problems with that is there's a lot of ambient noise in my apartment, which is why I switched to uh, the lavalier uh, mic instead of the shotgun mic that I was using, because that was picking up far too much ambient noise, even when it was focused in. Uh, this, being a studio mic type thing, uh, has a couple different settings on it. It's got, it's got four different settings. Uh, that, that pull in sound in different ways. So I'm going to see uh, how they work uh, when I have a chance to play with it a little bit. Uh, and the cartoid one, uh, cardoid one uh, may work since it focuses forward a bit. Uh, definitely would not be the uh, omnidirectional one because that would pick up all the sounds from the kitchen and outside and everything like that. Uh, without an actual uh, more studio setup, I don't think that would be the way to go. Uh, but Yeti, Blue here uh, wins on their packaging because those are some absolutely adorable abominable snowmen uh, on their package. Uh, and the, the packaging as a whole is uh, pretty stylish uh, and functional. Uh, you know, informational. It, it's got good, it's got personality uh, along with the information. Uh, so I haven't really cracked into this yet because, uh, like I said, it showed up sooner than I expected it to. So we can just pull it out 
And we've got a box within a box. And when we pop it open, we just have the USB cable it comes with because it is a USB mic. We have the booklet with more fun Yetis on the back. Packing styrofoam. And the important part, the microphone itself, which properly sits like that. Uh, now this has your pattern selector on it here. It's got a gain knob, which is going to be a lot of fun to play with. That may help me get rid of some of the uh, surrounding noise. Will also definitely help me get rid of hiss. Uh, it's got a push button mute on it, uh, which is great for a studio mic. Uh, if you're recording, especially if you're doing uh, live broadcasting, uh, which is one of the things I'm thinking of maybe using this for, pairing it up with my webcam uh, through the computer. Uh, and it's got a volume knob because it's also got a headphone jack. So it's, uh, and it can be mounted on a uh, mic stand of uh, any sort. So you can do a whole lot, a uh, whole lot with this. This is the uh, blackout design, uh, which is definitely within my aesthetic. Uh, I like the way it looked uh, online. It's got a nice uh, padded base here. It's got really good weight to it, so it won't accidentally get knocked over. Uh, and when I have a chance, uh, I'll play with it. I'll see if I can uh, try one of these po uh, one of these uh, vlogs with it. Uh, it would sit down, uh, and uh, I'd have to sync up the uh, the audio afterwards, which Premiere does. I've done it once or twice before. So it's going to be something interesting to work with. Uh, the eventual plan would be to get this camera to run directly into the computer, which can be done with previous uh, models of this Nikon. This is a D5500. All the instructions out there are for like a D5300. Uh, and I haven't been able to get stuff to work exactly the way I want to with this camera. Uh, but I would use this as the image capture and secondary audio, and then have better audio being recorded concurrently, meld it all together, broadcast it all out. Uh, failing getting this camera working, I've got another HD webcam that I've used for other stuff, uh, and that's if I ever get around to doing any of the live uh, broadcasts that I uh, threaten to do. Uh, with this. So I'm expecting that Blue Yeti to uh, work out relatively well for anything that I want to do. Uh, I hope I get around to using it so I don't end up with it just gathering dust like a few other hunks of electronics I've gotten over the years. Uh, but that was a surprise purchase. I wasn't expecting uh, to, to get that, but it was such a good deal. Uh, you know, half off, I could, couldn't pass it up to just have it here uh, in case I want to do something with it. So later on, I'll eventually let you know how that works out. Uh, if you have one of these Blue Yetis, uh, or if you know uh, anything about getting uh, Nikon D5500 working as a uh, streaming cam, uh, let me know down in the comments, because I'm kind of curious. Uh, so let me know. We'll talk about that. Uh, we'll see what else I can pull off here. Uh, maybe it'll be something for a project in the new year. Uh, but I have that extra bit of equipment now, which will make it easier to do stuff. Uh, so if you like the stuff I talk about, uh, give me a thumbs up right down below. If you're subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, uh, hit the subscription button so you can get notified when uh, I put out new videos like this. And that way you can uh, hear the eventual follow-up that goes on. And if you know anyone else who would be interested in this stuff uh, or has more tips they can give me, uh, share this video with them and uh, let them get involved in the conversation. I'm Kier. That's it for today. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.